that relationship goals and your responsibilities are not your life goals. So never get confused between the two. It's been 15 years. The 15 years that I've spent in this wheelchair were not easy. They were full of so many highs and as many lows. I always say that just because I somehow manage to carry it with grace and gratitude doesn't mean it's not heavy. These 15 years came with a lot of powerful life lessons, which I'm about to share with my beautiful YouTube family. In these 15 years, I have learned that we must never forget these three types of people. Those who leave us in our difficult times. Those who helped us in our difficult times. And those who put us in those difficult times. Never forget them. I have learned that life is so unpredictable. We desire something, plan something, and get something else. But accepting what comes our way without expecting anything in return and embracing it with gratitude works wonders. I have learned that when it comes to seeking validation from others, we should be very, very selective. I have learned that if we keep on listening to what other people think of us, we will eventually lose the sight of who we really are and what we are destined to be. So please, focus on your self-growth and don't pay heed to what other people think of you. Their opinions don't matter. I have learned that we all are in pursuit of happiness, but we fail to understand that we are solely responsible for our own joy. People can make us happier, but they can never make us happy. That's our inside job. You are responsible for your own joy. You are responsible for your own happiness. I have learned that relationship goals and your responsibilities are not your life goals. So never get confused between the two. In these 15 years, I have learned that in today's time and age, the biggest treasure that we all are yearning for and the only missing piece is inner peace. Attain it, avail it, and then protect it at every cost. In these years, I have learned that slowly and consistently is the fastest way to be where you want to be. It's the fastest way to be what you're destined to be. So don't rush. Be slow, be steadfast, but be consistent. In these 15 years, I have learned that nothing changes if nothing changes. So don't resist change. If you are too attached to what you have always been, you will never be able to be what you are destined to be. So change is a must. In these years, I have learned that we must surround ourselves with people who make you feel loved, welcomed, and wanted. We must surround ourselves with people whose eyes light up when they see you entering the room. And if you manage to find such people in your life, cherish them, protect them. I have learned that courage doesn't mean the absence of fear or pain. Courage means to be able to acknowledge that we are very ordinary human beings with extraordinary potential, that we are strong and powerful yet vulnerable, that we are beautiful, inspiring human beings, yet flawed. If you manage to acknowledge and embrace your true authentic self, that is the real definition of being courageous. In last 15 years, I have met some incredible human beings and I've come to the conclusion that people don't show up in our lives accidentally. We meet everyone for a reason. Some are blessings, others become lessons. So we take what we need to learn from them and we continue to keep moving on. I have learned with time 
that no matter how big of an empath you are, no matter how kind and considerate you are as a human being, you will always be a villain in someone's story. And trust me, you can do absolutely nothing to change that. And you don't need to. So just keep being you. Keep being kind. Don't let this world teach you to hate. Let people remember you as an empath, as a beautiful human being with a kind soul. That should be your definition when you leave the world. I have learned that the voice that echoes the most inside of you and the voice that you listen to the most is your own voice. Please make sure that your voice is worth listening to. Be kind to yourself. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you should be able to say that I love the person I see in the mirror and I will make sure that this person becomes a better individual every day. These 15 years have also taught me that I might not be able to inspire the entire world. I might not be able to motivate each one of you. Maybe God wanted me to make this video for that one person who was in the dire need of motivation, who needed to hear these words. So my dear friend, if you are watching this video, if you were the reason why I was chosen to make this video, I'm here for you. I'm here to let you know that no matter what happens, we must keep moving on. I have said this many times and I'll say it again, that we are the heroes of our own stories and heroes never give up. So chin up, stay strong, believe in yourself and continue to move on.